I'm Matthew Carroll, and this is uh, the second uh, progress check for HCI 580. Uh, I am basically finished with my device, and I have it so that you can actually walk in a virtual environment. Created the virtual environment, so let's start with setup. This is the Oculus Rift development kit, and it comes with a head-mounted display and all of the required cables to uh, hook up to the hardware. So this is my laptop right here, and uh, it requires an HDMI uh, or a DVI, uh, which I have a DVI on this. Uh, so this will all uh, plug in together, uh, charge my laptop with uh, this charging cable. The headset uh, seems trivial, but it's actually really a big part of it. Uh, the audio is uh, includes a lot of immersion. Uh, and then this is the device. Uh, you can see that I have two straps here. Uh, each of the straps uh, is colored differently so you can tell which one of the devices go on which feet. Uh, this is a, uh, just a watch battery that has been glued to the strap uh, to hold the device in. This is the USB dongle that goes into the laptop and it is from Freescale and it just hooks into the USB port on the side and then this are these are the two accelerometers that will be hooked up to those straps and it is amazing how much math is packed into this tiny little chip but uh, this will be hooked up to the ankle strap like so and then there's uh, buttons right here that are pressed to calibrate so I'll hook those up really quickly and then you're not going to see but I will take all of this and I will plug it or I will pack it into this bag wrap it around the chair hopefully it stays so that uh, you can sit without all of these cables uh, actually getting in the way into the software uh, side of it to make the uh, a program that would uh, demonstrate the walking around in the environment and needing to move around quickly and multiple degrees of freedom uh, just so that I could uh, best show the device and how it works uh, so what I did was I created uh, in Unity a uh, zombie game and what happens is the zombies attack and uh, try and kill you so if you can see a zombie is coming at you and when they attack they actually bite and make a biting, biting noise so we can get away from them they fly also uh, that was a happy error that was made and you can uh, maneuver around and walk around. You can see that right now I have to uh, use these keys to actually get away from these guys so they don't kill me. Alright, so this is my lovely assistant, Christina, and she is going to demonstrate uh, these devices. So uh, this is them on her legs. You can see both of them are going. Go ahead and uh, you can, oh, this is what she is seeing on her lap. She's holding it forward so we can see it also. Uh, it's going to be a mirror image because uh, it's facing us. So go ahead, Christina, and uh, move to your right. Keep going. All right. And go ahead and move to your left. All right. Good. And go ahead and walk forward. Awesome. Now, explore. Go for it. <laughs> All right, and as you guys can tell, uh, these are kind of hard to record because, like I said, she's got a lot of freedom, and uh, I'm kind of limited to where we can watch. But <laughs> she's able to look around plenty and get around this whole level. You'll notice that uh, this is not the zombie level yet. Uh, we wanted to warm up with uh, something easy, so this is just a Unity Boot Camp. Here we go, starting the zombies. Prepare to run for your life. Alright, 
go. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going in there? It's good, there's lots of zombies. <laughs> oh, they're flying. <laughs> okay. And you can see that even though this is not wireless, uh, it's pretty easy to use. She can spin around as much as she wants to uh, to get away from these guys and she has uh, pretty much all the freedom that she would need. Um, <clears throat> I can set it up like this so that you could stand up uh, and not use the chair but I feel like having the chair there is uh, a major part of it and uh, you can see that there's quite a bit of cabling uh, that does have to come out of this bag and uh, it's probably a little more comfortable to be seated anyways so that is the way that I went with it. So, thanks for watching from me and my lovely assistant, Christina. <laughs> oh, Goodbye. <laughs>